Well, hello everyone, we are back. We are, as you can see, in a different room in the house. Um, just want a little change of pace for a video like this instead of mm -hmm. the fireplace look. Yes, this is our March vlog because we had mentioned that we wanted to do these again and I think we missed February. Yeah. So here's our effort to come back. Uh, it's with a short a vlog. month, you know. Yeah, we used to do yeah. this every month, right? We used to do these vlogs. Uh, just about, yeah. And it's like we're going to film this one and we're thinking, what did, what did we used to talk like, about? What did we talk about? Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to talk about in this? But I guess we can just talk about what we've been up to and uh, we are going to be leaving in less, oh no, a little bit over 24 hours. Tomorrow. For, yeah, tomorrow night. For our con, mm -hmm. yeah. So today is going to be, a lot of today is going to be spent packing. Um, we're going to try to bring some games, but we're not quite sure what yet. I, and I know we're going to probably take like small little card games, travel mm -hmm. games that can play four to six players. Yes. Uh, because luggage space is an issue, the weight capacity is an issue, mm -hmm. and there's nothing worse than taking a bunch of games to a con, knowing that you stuffed your luggage, didn't even pull them out, yeah. and then you brought them all <laughs> the way back. Sounds like uh, we're talking from experience. Yeah. <laughs> and we hear that for the entire week that we'll be there, it's going to be raining mm -hmm. the entire time. Yeah. So. The less is more, right, I think? Definitely. So that is what we have ahead of us for anybody who is going to be attending Aircon uh, next weekend. We look forward to seeing you mm -hmm. because it's going to be a four-day convention uh, this time around. Yeah. So This is in the UK. I don't yes. know if we mentioned it. Uh, we went last year, and mm -hmm. so now it's our second time going. Yes. So now we kind of got a lay of the land. There is an extra day now. It's yeah. held Thursday through Sunday now versus Friday through Sunday, which mm -hmm. it was last time. And so we are really excited for it. We're looking forward to it. I don't know how I'm going to do with the jet lag. Normally it takes me about three days. <laughs> yeah. We're getting there on Tuesday and the con starts on Thursday. So we'll see. Maybe you really struggle. I do struggle, lag. yeah. Like, we'll be having a conversation <laughs> in the great. hotel and he's, yeah. I look over and he's just totally knocked out. So we will see how that goes. I also um, sometimes get sleepy whenever uh, I'm being taught rules at the table. Oh my god. And gosh. so I... <laughs> apologize to anybody that I may meet that I'm going to be sitting at a table with and it looks like I'm dozing off. I'm I'm trying my best. Just don't play any new games. No new games. That's, that's the secret. That's true, Just yeah. only play games that you know. Yeah, the, like a 40-minute teach, sit down. Oh, it's that, gonna that's going to be brutal, yeah. We're going to be reuniting with the entire Watch It Play team, so we're really looking forward to that mm -hmm. because the last time we saw everybody was, I think, in Here, June. in Southern June. California, or yeah. Whenever the live stream. Uh, was. In the summer of last year, mm -hmm. we did a Watch It Play live stream where we streamed for, I think, like 10 hours, was it? Something like and that. And we played, I think, like 12 games or mm -hmm. something like that, just rapid fire back to back. Uh, that was the last time we were all together. And, and then the time before that was Aircon of the previous year. So yes. uh, this it's is kind of like year. a, yeah, it's going fast. Now, as for some board gaming, about two weekends ago, we attended our local convention, which is Strategicon. We mm -hmm. talk about Strategicon all the time. It's in the Southern California area. And uh, we played a few games there. So we could talk about some of those games that we played. Sure. Yeah. Um, but before that, I guess just some general things that we usually talk about is well, what have we been up to? The weather in Southern California has been really weird. <laughs> Lots of I rain. Mean, maybe you've seen it on the news, yeah. but uh, we are t we're traditionally or typically we're in the very severe drought, mm -hmm. and uh, every year it's almost like, uh, are we going to be able to stay in California? Um, and so this year we've had a lot of rain. Uh, usually, when it rains in Southern California, everybody loses control yeah. <laughs> and just like is afraid to drive, and, and rightfully so, it gets pretty dangerous. It's, when... it, the roads are really slick here and then people yeah. are very distracted here. It's so. just not an environment that's really well supported for rain, Yeah. right? And uh, the weather got so wild that we had a day of hail, hail in Southern <laughs> California. Yeah, not very traditional. I, I grew no. up here and I think I've seen it maybe twice. No, yeah. this is your first time. You said this is your first time ever seeing at hail. My, at our house? Yeah. First time yeah. in Southern California, my second time. Yes. Yeah. I'm from San Francisco, so it has hailed there plenty of times. But when it started hailing here a few weeks ago, Naveen like got up, went to the window, and was just mesmerized. Because she was like, it's hailing. And I was like, no. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't was. do that. <laughs> yeah, sure enough. The you mountains. see them bouncing. The mountains are all very beautiful, so if you drive yes. around, you can see the mountains in the, dis the distance. There's a lot of snow. Lots of snow cap, which is great for mm -hmm. us. Um, so hopefully we have a good amount of water mm -hmm. going to the next year, as well as the years after that. Yes, we did lose internet uh, for a while there. And this is the second time this happened in the past two months mm -hmm. because of all the rain. Yep. And uh, we've also had some flooding. So those two things are not so good, but if it means getting us slightly out of the drought, then so be it, right? Flooding not in our house. No, no not in our house. Internet <laughs> lost in no. house, flooding in other parts of Southern California. Yes, yes, yes. How is the weather where you are? I mean, I we're complaining about rain, but I, I think in a lot of areas around the world, it's it's probably 
a lot worse, worse yeah. right? So Dexter, by the way, is getting older. He celebrated his birthday in January, so he's now eleven. 11. And we are having a lot of uh, a lot of difficulty coping with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you have any tips out there, any pet parents huh. who who have uh, aging pets, let us know. He's been getting some aches and pains, and so we've been dealing with that a little bit over yeah. the past uh, month. But right now he's doing well. He's just he has a, a lot of bit... spunk still right now. He yeah, might yeah, be yeah. looking like a sleepy head, but <laughs> I think it's because this light is coming in from the window, so he's just trying to close he's his He's a sleepy head. Yeah. That's what it is. And he's very cold these days, so mm -hmm. he's always in a sweater. We also have an anime update um, <laughs> for anybody out there who caught any of our previous vlogs where we mentioned this. Um, I started watching anime last year. This is Japanese anime. She's obsessed. And uh, no, I'm not. I'm just really, it's, I'm very uh, interested in the storytelling. It's very creative. There's a lot of different types of anime out there. So if you enjoy watching just uh, creative storytelling, then it might be something to get into. Mm -hmm. But Naveen has not been really into anime until so much. recently. Yes. So we discovered uh, a show. <laughs> I was watching before a show called Vinland Saga, which we basically seen the first season. But most recently, I got really hooked and in, into a show called Attack on Titan. <laughs> Have you heard of it? This is a very, very popular show. Very popular. I, I've even heard this as somebody who was not even into anime. Uh -huh. uh, there's even a couple board games uh, based around the IP. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that we actually played at Strategicon years ago. Mm -hmm. um, right. And so now it all kind of makes sense what we were doing in that game. But uh, this uh, show is in its final season now, and it's coming out piece mm -hmm. by piece. Uh, I was pretty much hooked on it in the first two episodes, maybe. Yeah, maybe like by the third episode. Third episode, episode yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really into it. Uh, if you aren't into anime and you are interested in kind of dipping your toe, I highly recommend doing this one because yes. I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm not traditionally an anime fan. And that's actually what got me into anime. I watched the first episode of that. I had a friend who was really, really selling me on this show. And I watched the very first episode and wow, blew me away. Mm -hmm. And I stopped watching it after that first episode because I wanted to wait to see if Naveen would be interested in yeah. it. And then uh, we started watching it recently to try to catch up mm -hmm. before the last uh, season came out. And it just, it took us. <laughs> just just be careful <laughs> when, when searching Attack on Titan online, there it is very spoiled. And yeah, many, like, don't look at it There's a up. lot of stuff out there. There's going to be titles and videos and like titles of articles and mm -hmm. stuff. Just try to avoid any of that. The first season is on Netflix, the first 25 episodes. Uh, so you can always check it out there. Yeah, if you watch just like a few episodes and you're into it, it's on Crunchyroll. That's the website. And you can, if you can binge it in like a month, mm -hmm. then you can probably do that. Yep. But it is so good. It's one of those shows where it's like, there's a reason why it's so popular. There's a reason why some certain things become mainstream and... That one is because it is it is a very good work of art. No spoilers here. This uh, show has no fillers, which is good. It yes. is it is constantly pushing the story forward. But as a word of warning, it is not. Uh, it's not like a. It's not, I don't know if it would be good for kids, right? There's not for very, kids. Yeah. Uh, not for young kids. Gory, maybe. Yeah, teenagers right? probably fine. Yeah. All right. So now for some board games. Um, have we been playing a lot of board games? We're kind of in a lull still. A I mean, we pl I played a lot at StrategicCon. Yes, we did. Yeah. We did go to a convention, that's yeah. true. But uh, you we're going to be gone for a week, and any time, especially Naveen has to take off work for a week, mm -hmm. it kind of makes him have to work a lot Compresses beforehand yeah. for, his, like, for his day job. Yep. So he's been very busy with that. Mm. Um, otherwise, I've been playing a lot on Board Game Arena. So Board Game Arena, I'm really sold on that, that site. They have some really good implementations of board games on there, and... Um, for our Patreon community, we have a, a Board Game Arena group now, so when I get back, I'll probably be joining games yep. over there, but for now, I've been playing a lot of Next Station London. I've been getting, I've been losing a lot at Castles of Burgundy. <laughs> Jeez. Typical Four you. player, it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> I just lost today. I also played Carcassonne for the first time <laughs> ever, a true, a true full game of Carcassonne. Base Carcassonne? Base Carcassonne, and then I think there was an expansion the second time okay. we played, and I don't think I understand the strategy in that yet. Really? I'm just like, build the cities. They give you points. You can close them off. And Did you just get you smushed? Points. Huh? Did you get smushed? I got smushed twice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And and I think after the second smushing, that's what really convinced me that maybe I don't quite understand the strategy. Did yet. you enjoy it? I did, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a very uh, classic tiling. Like, before, when, we, when you first started getting to the hobby... Carcassonne was the tiling game. Mm -hmm. And then came like Isle of Sky, which was like Carcassonne-esque. And then came all these other um, tiling games that require you to build out 
paths and fields mm -hmm. and stuff. But gotcha. I still have not played Carcassonne, yeah. And so it's like one of those games that's like, do I want to play it? I don't Is know it if too you'd old? Like it. Will I like it? It's not that it's too old. Yeah. It's definitely a classic. It's yeah. very easy to just pull out. I mean, on your turn, you're just placing a tile and placing a meeple, maybe. Okay. So it's very simple. But I just don't know if you like uh, tiling games like that enough. It's I guess pure I play it. tiling. If it's on BGA, maybe I can play it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Naveen likes to set up games with me on BGA and then completely leave <laughs> the site. Does Abandoned not return them. to continue our games. I've abandoned a couple games yes. from inactivity. I've had to abandon the games because oh, he doesn't even yeah. return to abandon the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a game of day use for a week and then I said, you know what, this isn't gonna... I take a turn gonna, every like five days. Not gonna play it. Yeah. So anyway, that is that is Board Game Arena. Wingspan is on there and I think that that is a very, very uh, good implementation of it. Oh, nice. um, and the thing that's neat about Board Game Arena is it, there are certain titles that are more popular that you can only play if you have like a premium membership. Mm. And uh, only one person has to have that premium membership. So if I have that and you don't, but you want to play one of those premium games, then I can invite you to a it, game. It makes sense. It's yeah. like if I have this game mm -hmm. and we all came to my house to play it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Not everybody has, not to, buy everybody has yeah, to buy one. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. So. so it's neat. And you can play async, which is usually what I do. Mm -hmm. We're basically it's turn-based and I don't have to sit there the entire time and play it, right? Mm -hmm. So, And because Naveen's been working a lot, I've been doing some solo gaming. Some, not a whole lot. Um, I know I've been, I started ISS Vanguard, but to tell you the truth, it took so long <laughs> to set up that game. It's that a big box of I stuff. I haven't fully gone through it. Yeah. Um, I still have a lot to go through before I can actually do a review of that. Mm -hmm. And every time I play it, I have to reset it up so a friend of mine gave me this brilliant idea and he said, just put it on your, your board gaming table and then put the lid over. And every time you want to play it, just remove the lid. So there's no like, <laughs> so... there's no like big miniatures or anything like that. I, I think it would be fine. Okay. You just move those off that side. Okay. Um, I just don't know why I didn't think of that. Like that's so, that's that why we makes have that more table. sense. Yeah. That's yeah. why you have a, a, a table like mm -hmm. that. So I'm probably going to end up doing that and we'll be able to, I'll be able to review it soon. And Naveen hasn't tried it at all None, yeah. because he just hasn't had time. So we'll see if he ends up being able to share thoughts. Yeah. But all right, Strategicon, we played a few games. Naveen. I think I played 13 total. Naveen. I was very good about writing down the games. I didn't take many pictures <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I, I told myself going into it, okay, I'll take some footage. I'll take some pictures. We can put it in the video. Yeah. I took like maybe nine pictures. It's total. a struggle. Yeah, it's a but struggle. we have some highlights. Yeah. Um, Naveen did a lot more gaming than mm -hmm. I did. I just decided to kind of take it easy that weekend and uh, I turned in early, which is very rare for a convention, mm -hmm. but uh, Naveen had a lot to play. I did, yeah. We started off with uh, The Estates. We played a five-player game of that. Oh my goodness. Uh, that one we hadn't played in years. Um, that is one of the meanest yeah. games it can I've be pretty mean. ever yeah. played. It is <laughs> so cutthroat. It's an auction game. If you've never played the estates before and you enjoy auctions and you don't mind kind of cutthroat play, then try the estates because it is actually quite clever. It is clever the way you're it, yeah. building out your city planning mm -hmm. together <laughs> and uh, your different corporations, your different companies. So you don't want, you know, other people to succeed. Only you want to have the most successful buildings. Yeah. And like you, you could be investing in building up a powerful kind of skyscraper or tower mm -hmm. and somebody can come in and usurp and take the control of that tower. Mm -hmm. But there's also this push pull thing where it's like, if your um, towers do not score, they could score in the negatives by the end of the game. Yes. So uh, it's, it's clever in, in its design. It's, it's a fairly simple, it's uh, fast, too. fast and it's very interactive. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not multiplayer solitaire. Yes. And uh, my favorite part of it is you can embezzle money. Um, That's your favorite part? Yeah, it's cool. The I, one. Yeah. <laughs> the one because sometimes that makes turn. that makes a big difference. At the beginning of your turn, you have the option, like, do I want to take from this stack of cash and put it into my score pile? That means, though, you have one less uh, $1,000 of buying power. So, mm. um, yeah, I like that that idea because sometimes just those those couple decisions as yeah. to when to embezzle Makes could be the difference, yeah. My favorite thing is the fact that literally every mechanic in the game can be auctioned off. So there are three rows that, you're, that we're building buildings on, mm -hmm. and if you don't complete... Uh, a row, right? If the row doesn't get completed by the end of the game, then those are going to score you negative points instead. Yeah. And there's like a marker that can either elongate the row or shorten it. There's another marker that doubles everything. So if mm -hmm. you put that marker 
on the row. If you score positive points, that's great for you because it's times two at the end of the game. But if you also score negative instead, double. that's yeah. double the awful. Mm -hmm. And those, the, all of those markers can be auctioned off. Also, so there's a timing aspect yeah. that I can never get right. So, I also appreciate that uh, the money in hand doesn't mm -hmm. doesn't mean anything at the end of the game. Yes, yes, and yeah. it's a closed it's, it's a closed, closed economy. economy. Yeah. So you're just trading money around yeah. unless you embezzle. Exactly mm -hmm. what Naveen said. Yeah. I can never get the timing right for those specific uh, mechanics. Like the hat, if you've ever played this, I auctioned off the hat way too early, and I thought I was being so clever, like oh yeah, I'm gonna auction this off, and I ended up just making the rich person way oh, richer. richer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, everybody ended up having to spend the rest of the game uh, trying to undo what I did. So <laughs> don't be that person. That is the estates. Yep. What else did we play? We played Iki, Iki for the first time. That was one that we had heard about back at Gen Con of last year. Mm -hmm. And it's not a, it wasn't like a new release, no, but I think it's like the second edition or second printing of it. Um, we played a four-player game of that one. Mm -hmm. You're basically going around a bunch of j different Japanese market stalls. During the Edo period, uh, you're a merchant. Yeah, you're a merchant, yep. and you're just trying to get things done. You're uh, trying to fight fires as well. Yeah. Uh, we were told that fires were not a big deal, but Naveen was subjected to a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of my workers <laughs> got burnt up. Yeah, ugh, awful. Naveen also played a pretty epic game of Kemet. Yeah, Blood I played a uh, five-player game of Kemet, Blood and Sand. Kemet is a game that I really enjoy. And so um, I had not played the Blood and Sand version of it. And I honestly, I couldn't remember, like, I couldn't tell you what was different about it. The board. The board is, I mean, like, different, right. but, like, in terms of gameplay-wise, I, I can't remember enough of regular the original to, to be like, oh, this is what they changed. Mm -hmm. So I can't give, like, a, an elaborate side-by-side -side comparison. But it was a very, very good game. It still uh, holds up to this day every single time I play it. It's always tense. You're trying to build up your um, your army and your abilities by getting different uh, tiles and tokens mm -hmm. of these varying different colors. Red is like a more attack, blue is defense, and white is kind of like a grab all. And uh, you're basically going out there and you're trying to control different territories. You're trying to beat people in uh, combat so that you can score either permanent points, mm -hmm. which is always great, or temporary points, which you're basically trying to hang on to until you hit your win condition. Mm -hmm. uh, this game was really intense all the way through the end. Uh, and we got beat <laughs> we? pretty bad. Well, yeah, so it was... Uh, only one winner here. So. One winner. So <laughs> it was uh, it was actually a four-player game. And uh, three guys, one girl, the three of us, we got destroyed. Well, because you were destroying each other. We were destroying right? each other. And she was we... like, I'm going to take all these permanent exactly. points. Just kind of going up. Exactly, yeah. So, she's also a very good gamer. Very she good pretty gamer. much wins every game she mm -hmm. plays. So, <laughs> But it looked really intense. I was not a part of that game, but everybody was standing. You know those... Games where everybody's standing. You got to the table. point where everyone's like, "All right, it's like get up for this three and a half hours long. Yeah. You don't see them for a while. They're all very quiet." There was a lot of like power vacuuming uh, yeah, stuff yeah. going on. Like two of us would fight, and then somebody's like, "All right, you all dwindled. Now I'm coming in and getting mm -hmm. control." Yes. So uh, that that's a great game. I think the turn order mechanism of the game is really really good. So you can uh, find yourself getting to choose in what turn order you want to go, and especially mm -hmm. towards the later uh, half of the game, that is really important. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't really remember what I played uh -huh. <laughs> anymore. I played Rumble Nation. I, I played that. Rumble Nation also, separate with from you. Yeah. Christina from Going Analog. Mm -hmm. uh, I played Shake That City with the board game Barrage guys. Uh, they they taught it to me, and it was I, I had seen the, it's an AEG game, and it comes with this device that has cubes in it, but it's a city builder. Kind of like Camel Up. Yeah, the yeah. device is kind of like the, what you get with Camel Up, uh, but it's spitting out these cubes, and you're supposed to choose which cubes you're going to <laughs> you're going to put on your map. Okay. The cubes they all um they'll stand for a certain kind of building that you're going to be building on your map. And each turn you can only choose one type from the colors of the cubes. Okay. And depending on the configuration that they're in, you have to put that exact configuration on your map. Kind of like tiny towns. It, fe it feels okay. very tiny towns like, but it's not as mean. I guess tiny towns can be quite punishing. You basically keep on playing Tiny Towns until you cannot play it anymore, right. okay. until you're out, right? Until you're yeah, knocked out. Yeah, that aspect isn't there so much, um, but it, it does do the whole, like, every type, different type of building scores in a different way. And I thought that it was a lot more thinky than I thought it would mm -hmm. be. And I, I thought it was I thought it was okay. You liked it? Yeah, yeah I yeah. did. I didn't get to play this one. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw a demo of it back at Essen, um, just kind of the idea of the mechanism of what you're mm -hmm. doing, but we didn't actually get to play it. So you got to play uh, a four-player game. Did it feel yes. like player count mattered? Uh, it's kind of 
like multiplayer solitaire. So everybody is, it's not like because I took the blue cube, so, nobody else can. No, okay. there's one aspect to that. It's gotcha. almost like Ganshan Clever E, where one person uh, is going to be each round, they're going to get to choose the color first. Mm -hmm. And whatever they choose, you cannot choose. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And then, so that's so the only one that's restriction. That's the only one okay. restriction. I gotcha. And you just play like that until. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much for a player, player count. count. Yeah. Um, I I will say though that the building scoring was a little bit confusing the first time around, and I don't know how well it's going to do in terms of longevity. Mm -hmm. Like I don't necessarily have a craving to keep on playing that again, but that's I enjoyed fair. the play of it. That gotcha. Played. Okay. And I also played Meadow for the first time. So we put out a ten games that we still haven't played mm -hmm. in January. And we have not forgotten. We are trying to chip away at those titles, and we we're going to do an update video once we're able to play them all. But I was able to play Meadow. Um, Nate taught it to me. Thank you so much. Naveen wasn't a part of it. I wasn't able we're to. I was still part of uh, Kemet. Playing yeah. Epic Kemet. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but it was very cute. I can. Under I, I do see the appeal. I know now why people enjoy that game so gotcha. much. So it you is enjoy it. beautiful. Like I could not get past the card artwork. Oh, well, this, okay. The the level of artistry that is going into board games these days is just it's wild. Mm -hmm. It's it's a good place to be. It's a good yeah. time to be an artist sure. in board games. Yeah. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. So that was yeah, uh, another game um that was part of that ten games that we still want to play was mm -hmm. Black Angel, and I actually picked that up uh during the virtual flea market That's or right. during the, the math, math trade. trade. Yeah. We did the math trade. We did the math trade. We got so some games in and out. Yeah, so I picked up that one, which mm -hmm. is now hopefully in the next coming weeks or months, uh we can get that one played. Mm -hmm. We would like to ideally chip away at those ten games. Yes. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to it, but now we have black. We are. Yeah. We are you have to put it <laughs> out into the universe. We are going to play. Well, those 10 games we have we've been getting a lot of um offers from people who play some of those games so we yeah, are willing to, to teach it that yeah, is nice you might have to take that you up great. on that yeah. because that that saves us a lot of, uh, a lot of time and space. pain yeah. <laughs> And during the math trade, we also picked up uh, Caverna K versus K. Yes, So that's we right. did a playthrough video of Agricola All Creatures Big and Small, which is a two-player spinoff of an aspect of Agricola. Mm -hmm. And so they did, or Uwe Rosenberg did the same thing for Caverna. As well as called... La Havre, which is the inland port. Yes. You've played that one. I have not played so that one. So we're probably not going to do the La Havre Probably not going to do that But one. now that we have K versus K, we've been uh, delaying New Spirit a little bit, just mm -hmm. because of the uh, having to play it several times quite long especially so, going into this trip so we'll, yes. we'll play it again or, so we, we might back. squeeze in cave versus cave first mm -hmm. just so we have something else to go along with the series yep. so going into games uh coming up on our channel um we don't know <laughs> yeah. it's been really it's been too tough to film we yeah. put out first rat recently that was uh, the most recent playthrough and review mm -hmm. uh we've been doing a couple of kickstarters but it's because those are all scheduled so we don't have a choice but to release those on those dates right. so you will see two kickstarters this week um, if I can film that solo playthrough, then we'll try to get that out this week. Yeah. Otherwise, maybe Caverna Cave versus Cave. Yeah, I tried my best to film to carry on before we we left, but uh, I got vetoed. I, I so. couldn't. I couldn't get it done. Couldn't there was no it. way that I, with the expansion, the time to film it, edit it, uh, it was just going to take too much time out of my day, my yeah. my my work day, to be able to get that done. But when we so, get back, a lot of the work is going to be cleared from my schedule, and then hopefully and we won't we'll get be to traveling it. for a yeah. little bit. So. It's okay. We will get on that right when we get back. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I think that's it. Yeah. It's been a, it's been quite the vlog. Um, for next month's <laughs> vlog, vlog, let us know if you have any Q and A questions uh, because yes. we, uh, it's been a while since we said we were going to put out a part two to that. Mm -hmm. We didn't, and I don't know if I still have the questions. So if you have any questions about uh, content creation, especially, we get a lot of emails about mm -hmm. content creation, and we wouldn't mind, you Just know, answering questions yeah. on here. Or anything about board games, any any questions that you all have, let us know. And let us know what you've been playing. Anything else? That's it. All right. All right. Well, thank you so I'll much. We will see yeah. you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.